Although there are many components to our PDSA template, they're not hard to understand. Let's break them down individually so we can see their value. Cycle number and meeting dates. Effective work with PDSA requires multiple cycles, so the cycle number helps keep track of the sequence. In addition to sequencing your test cycles by number, many teams find it helpful to link their document to dates of project meetings. The start and end dates refer to the dates of your cycle, from the plan step through the act step. When you start, you won't know the end date, but you can guess when you'll finish. The cycle time of your PDSA is just the length of time from start to end. The objective of the cycle. Our template shows three basic options for the PDSA cycle. Collect data to develop a change, test a change, or implement a change. In this lesson, we'll focus on tasks related to testing a change. Our examples will start with a change that's defined, and we'll use the test to see how well the change works in a specific context. Analyzing and responding to cycles for implementation will be covered in the 200 or 300 level course on this topic. The short objective of the cycle, this is where you define what you want to learn as a result of this specific PDSA. Okay, so those sections help address some of the more administrative aspects of the process. Let's now look at the PDSA portion of the template. In plan, we'll start with questions. This section answers what questions do we want to answer with the cycle and what are our predicted answers. The test plan answers the who, what, where, when, and how questions for the test. You want to be able to describe exactly how you think you're going to carry out this test of change. Finally, in the plan section, we have to talk about collecting data. This section answers the who, what, where, when, and how of data collection process to answer the test plan questions. In the, due for in the due section of the form, you record what happened during the test cycle, including surprises you didn't anticipate. You should note if you need to modify your plan so that you remember to adjust your procedure or approach in subsequent cycles. In study, you compare the predictions with what actually happened and identify new issues that emerge in your review of the cycle. A good question to ask when completing this section is, how would I summarize the test for others to understand? In ACT, this section outlines what you'll do next based on what you've learned in this test. If you have an opportunity to recognize... Finally, we have a place where you can recognize any experts and others who've helped you with this particular cycle. That gives you a brief overview of the contents of the template.